This question will make your eyes pop out of our head in surprise. We are given a quarter circle, which simply means one-fourth part of a full circle. Now inside this shape, there is a full circle placed like this such that this full circle is touching this radius of the quarter circle. And now comes the main thing. There is a straight horizontal line drawn from the curved edge of the quarter circle to this radius of the quarter circle such that this line just touches the full circle at this point. The length of this line is given to be 14 units. Now, our job is simple. We need to find the area of the blue shaded region. Now what is so shocking about this question is that even though we don't know the value of the radius of this full circle or this quarter circle, we still need to find out the exact area of the blue shaded region. Don't you think this is an impossible looking question? But you know that I always love such problems because they provide something really beautiful and clever hidden logic. Let's now start solving this. Let us call the radius of the quarter circle as x and the radius of this full circle as y. So the area of the quarter circle is pi times x square divided by 4. And the area of the full circle is pi times y square. Therefore, the area of the shaded region A is just the difference between the quarter circle and the inner circle, which is pi times x square divided by 4 minus pi times y square, or pi times x square by 4 minus y square. Badia. Next, let us try to link x and y using the geometry of the figure. Look at this full circle. Draw a vertical diameter that touches the bottom side of the quarter circle. Since the radius of this full circle is y, the vertical length of the diameter becomes 2 times y. Now notice something clever. The horizontal tangent at the top and the bottom edge of the quarter circle both are tangent to the full circle, which means they will be perpendicular to the diameter of the full circle. So the vertical gap between the top and bottom tangents, or the length of this piece, is also equal to 2 times y. Now are you ready for some magic? Draw a line by joining the center of this quarter circle to the top end of the horizontal tangent line like this. Then focus your eyes on this right-angled triangle. The length of this piece is 14 units, and the length of this piece is 2 times y. Now, what will be the length of the hypotenuse? It's simple. The hypotenuse of this right triangle is the same as the radius of the quarter circle, right? Therefore, the hypotenuse will be equal to x. Time to use our most loved right triangle theorem, the Pythagoras theorem. We get x square is equal to 14 square plus 2 times y whole square. 2 times y whole square is the same as 4 times y square. Now take it to the left-hand side to get x square minus 4 times y square equals 14 square, which is equal to 196. Next, let us divide the whole equation by 4. We get x square by 4 minus this will be y square equals 196 divided by 4 or 49. But hey, if you remember our first equation, this expression was exactly what we needed for the shaded region area. So substitute this value back into that formula. That gives us the area of the shaded region as pi times 49. And that's it. Let's see if you can take it one step further. Tell me in the comments, what will be the general formula for the shaded area in terms of r only instead of the number 14, where r is the length of the top horizontal tangent line? Isn't this question mind-blowing? So good.